Hello and welcome. So I'm doing this series of three videos to make you avoid you that is probably learning or wants to learn French those common mistakes that foreigners do in French. In this video, we will concentrate on the mistakes in the letter's pronunciation. First of all, the H at the beginning of the words is always mute, not like in English. You will say O oh, that means up and not ho, or hiver that means winter and not hiver. Secondly, the consonants are generally mute at the end of the words. You will not say blanc, but blanc, or trop, but trop. And you really have to be careful about that. But there are some exceptions. With the numbers, for example, you will have to say set and not si, or huit, neuf, dix. But also with some words that finish with r, like bonjour, en noir, en miroir. Third of all, the double consonants in French can be quite complicated. In a lot of cases, the pronunciation of the word will not change, like with the letter B, or R, or N. But some do, like with C. The C can sound like a X in some words, like accident or axi. Or the L. The double L can sound like a Y, if an I is before it. For example, in papillon, that means butterfly, it will change. But if there is no I, it will not change. And finally, the S in the French language is pretty tricky. At the beginning of the words, it will sound like S, but in the middle there is two Ks. If there is just one S, it will sound like a Z, but if there is two, it will also sound like s. I heard a lot of learners in French that were confused about this sound. And of course, at the end of the words, they will be mute because it's just a mark for plural and it's also a consonant. Except for ours, that means bear. So thank you for your attention and I hope that you learned a bit from this video. <laughs>